What's up, y'all? Feeds here. This is a new scrapping video. For those of y'all that have no clue what you're watching, <laughs> this is an XM radio receiver. I've noticed there's some gold plating here and here. So let's crack this little puppy open and see if there's any more gold plating in it. And before you tech no nit nut geek dickheads freak out and start saying, oh, you can sell that for more on eBay. This is busted. It's what I like to call a piece of she hey, It's a busted radio. Hey. See if I can get into this joker. Remember, like I said, well, chisels are your friends because they get in them hard to reach places. Well, you may hear my TV in the background. I have CNN on today. Not because it's 9 11, but all them government dickheads are talking about Syria. I'm going to say something dirty right now. I'm going to drop the F-bomb. I'm all about fucking. So fuck Syria. Okay. I have the face off. And that didn't get me into it. <laughs> Let's see what else I got to tear up. Okay, that didn't do anything. Oh. I see something in there. Oh, well, I'm messing around with this thing. There's a new scrapper on the YouTube scene. His name is Melbourne Scrapper. You should really check him out. He's got some interesting videos about copper stripping, and he's got a few with a rice cooker called Bloke's Kitchen. I'm going to have to give me a rice cooker now because of that bloke. <laughs> but check him out, Melbourne Scrapper. He's got a really cool Australian accent, too. Give it a go. <laughs> you know that he thinks I'm an idiot. I've almost got it open, or I'm breaking some plastic. I don't want to stab my desk. Bring out the leather. Oh, I'm popping off here. I guess if I put it out here, you can see what I'm talking about. Oh, come on. Ooh, I see some pretties in there. Come on, man. Huh. <laughs> As I'm prying on this thing, I see a really weird little screw in here, and it's one of those, I think it's a lock nut, or one of those tamper-proof bits. Those tamper-proof bastards. <laughs> this makes tamper-proof nothing. Let's get her open. plating in there. It's like a foam board. Contacts are gold plated. Let's see what's under the screen here. Okay, well you've got a screen. As you can see there was a screen in there. And there's just a little green board just like what's in a telephone. You see some gold plating here. I guess if you get a bunch of people throwing their XM radios away, they may be worth having. But it's probably going to take a lot to make it worth your while. Unless I get some more of them, I ain't going to mess with it. Unless the back of this board's covered in gold plating. couple of crystal oscillators here on the back. This one here, and this one here, these got, they have gold, no, there's three. There's gold in these. <laughs> I'm sure there's probably another one in here, but these, this is welded shut. Let's see. So much for the weld. And there's a couple of, there's three. Two chips in there. But I've noticed there's a lot of tantalum capacitors on here, these little black boxes. 
with the minus on one side, that's tantalum. You're going to find tantalum anywhere that there's going to be heat. Because it takes 6,000 degrees to melt tantalum, so you don't have to worry about your XM radio getting too hot and messing up your transistors. So that's what's in an XM radio. Some decent gold plating here from the context, but it's going to take a lot to make a difference. See ya.